Welcome back to today's to a brand new update video here on the channel where today we're going to be talking about a number of different topics all the way from a new upload schedule kind of a new direction that I'm going to be taking the channel in general things have been going on with life how things have been going on with work how are things going on as a creator where I can talk to you a little bit more as a viewer now typically when we do these update videos we do play a hard space shipbreaker because it's kind of fun to just sit back relax watch me kind of break apart a ship in the background you know take apart all the different parts into the barge and processing into the furnace and all that it's just kind of relaxing in general sit back and just take things apart piece by piece and kind of dispose of them build up our career now it does actually have a little bit of a story that's been going on in the background at the same time now i think last time when we left off we had hal which is our new manager that came in basically said that they found out that some of our workers were trying to unionize they fired i believe lou and then we have weaver who was our direct manager who's been getting pushed under by the new manager Hal. basically he's been firing off people the company's been putting a lot of pressure on us and we seem to have a phone call coming in i started up the game and i don't remember exactly where we left off last time but we seem to have a phone call coming in so we're gonna go ahead and listen off to this phone call see what's going on in terms of the story because every time we get one of these typically we, it is kind of evolve in the story a little bit so before we get into the update let's see what's going on so thank you for listening if you guys like the video as we kind of progress here make sure to like the video subscribe if this is kind of your first time watching my videos getting an update video which is you know a little bit more personable i suppose if this is your first video watching from the channel hello thank you <laughs> and of course leave any comments down below and, and on any of the ramblings that i have going on during this whole uh, conversation but again like i was saying let's go ahead and listen Oh boy. Okay, so that's actually kind of heavy. I mean, look, we're trying to do an update video here. I didn't know that we had to be coming into an emotional roller coaster. So yeah, they uh they fired off Lou, or Hal fired off Lou, and we didn't like that at all because it essentially just fired off one of our more favorite workers. Um, and now Hal was already kind of saying that, you know, maybe we can do industrial like action where we just kind of maybe just stop doing our jobs properly, just kind of like strike more or less, just you know, come into work and still get paid, but not really do anything just destroy everything and uh, all that kind of fun stuff but yeah wow that's that's loud and it turns out that kaido ended up giving off our union news group like the uh that's so i guess that explains how the company found out that people are starting to unionize is because he kind of folded and give gave them that information oh the rat how oh, kai he's a rat <laughs> got a little bit of profit from last time we play a little bit of our money coming in but there we go. So yeah, before we get fully into the whole dialogue of what we're going to be doing here today, let's go ahead and take a let's just get the game started up right off the bat. Let's take a look at the start shift to see what kind of shifts we have available to us because I don't really do any editing for these types of update videos. <clears throat> I usually kind of do it very straight ball, straight, you know, I don't know, what do you want to call it? Vanilla. Um, <laughs> I guess that's the word. It's just yeah, I like to call it vanilla. We just kind of, I just do it right to the point. You know, I don't like to do the editing, jumping around, extra 
dialogue and zooms and all that crap you know we, there might be a little bit there at the start with the dialogue going on but you know i like to do it kind of very straightforward so what kind of a ship do we want to break apart today i kind of want to do this one it has a lot of cargo on the side i'm taking a look see what has like the most money going to be giving us the most like kind of points in general 34 million for that one 38 million lots of points wow but very very boxy not uh not very interesting that's very explodey uh <laughs> very very explodey 33 i mean look the most the highest the, the one with the most value and i think most points really is this top one. Oh boy that is the only issue is that i think that is going to take absolutely forever to do <laughs> but you know what we may as well get started Th that is the other thing about this game is that the fact it does take quite a while to especially when you get into these later ships it takes quite a while before uh before you can complete them. Good morning, folks. Saw some sloppiness yesterday, but I let it slide. Hope I don't see more today. Well, aren't you all a quiet bunch? Weaver, you're unmuted, by the way. Thank you, Hal. I'm aware. No sage words of wisdom for the team? They know what they're doing. Hm. You know, Curazon, if you hit those quotas, I might see about giving your comms privileges back. <laughs> Once a week only, of course. I'd like that. Yeah, well, need to see those results first. Well, heck, folks, you're really taking this job seriously. I love to see it. Remember what we say, Kai? Avoiding chatter makes profits. What? Huh? It makes profits fatter, right? Right. Well, I like this. My little group of busy bees. No fuss, just salvage. Uh, keep it up. How out. Well, all right then. Uh, good talk to you, talking to you, Hal. We got ourselves a nice little special, the railgun firing off again. I always love seeing that thing fire off. It's, it's beautiful, kind of a jump gate more or less. So we uh, starting off, we're getting a lot of these kind of cargos just immediately off into the into the barge. So if some of you guys have never seen this game before, you know you kind of have some pieces that have to go into the barge. You have some pieces that go into the processing bay, the blue, and you have some pieces that go into the furnace. But without further ado, let's get into the meat of what today's episode is really all about. It's kind of talking about where kind of where, what's the direction that tether maximum reached uh i'm gonna go ahead and cancel all my tethers there we go uh where like where how, how do i talk about this right <laughs> it's you know these update videos are always kind of weird because you don't really always have like you you have the topic you have the ideas of what it is that you want to talk about but you don't necessarily have a structure of how you want to talk about it i suppose it just depends on the topic in general yeah, no, so I guess first off, starting off with, I want to talk maybe about the upload schedule in general. So, look, to, to put it a little bit more into perspective, I, I mean, I am, you know, I'm a 39-year-old man. I still work full-time. I work, you know, my usual, you know, nine-ish hours a day, maybe about eight and a half. But, you know, by the time you wake up, get ready for work and all that fun stuff, you're basically spending nine to ten hours of your day, you know, just, just for work and all that fun stuff. Um basically putting saying that you know i'm tired <laughs> there there's some days where i'm just absolutely exhausted where you know i you know i literally walk miles at work i i do somewhere in the range of like thirty thousand steps you know multiple miles walks you know per day i you know I get, it gets a little exhausting after a while um a little bit of air pressure in there and that's why it's kind of blown apart but you know it gets it gets pretty exhausting after a while so with that being said you know when i have to come home every day and also make a daily video on top of that, you know, and try to keep up the energy the entire time of the video and keep an idea going and just, you know, honestly putting those out on the daily, uh, you know, on the daily, you know, again, you, you work, you know, nine, 10 hours, and then you come home and you got to spend another like three to four hours just making a video for, you know, your daily videos. And, uh, you know, I've been doing it now for the better part of a year and a half, a little bit more over a year and a half now at this point. Uh, come on back here. Where do you, where are you going? Where are you going? Little piece is just floating away on me. Um, <laughs> Ooh, there's a data drive sitting there too. Give me that. Why don't you click that up? 
and a little bit of this nano carbon or ion coil. Oh, come back here. There it is. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's very tiring in general trying to do that on the daily, doing it every single day, trying to stay fresh with the ideas. And I mean, to put it into, to, I mean, to be real is that I'm only at 10,000 and like 300 some subscribers. I think last I checked it was 10,311 is the official number at this moment of 428 at 856 PM. <laughs> um, but you know, the channel really hasn't gone anywhere to say, I mean, the pro, I mean, the growth has been slow. It's been there, you know, every once in a while, a video does a little bit better than than the typical and you gain, you know, maybe a couple hundred subscribers and all that fun stuff. But for the most part, the channel hasn't really gone anywhere. You know, I, throughout this entire year and a half of making content, I have learned a lot in general on terms of how to make content better and, and also how to hold yourself better in terms of making content, you know, because I think in my original videos, I mean, it really is a lot about confidence. Um, you know, I know people say that a lot, but it really, really, really is about a lot about confidence. Cause like sometimes, you know, you look at some of my earlier videos and it's just like, you know, Hey guys, um, you know, we're, um, we're, we're going to be playing some Kerbal Space Program 2 today. Um, you know, I just, I just wasn't, it wasn't very confident in my words, wasn't very confident in my verbiage and just kind of rambling on everything. I was just kind of second guessing a lot of what you say. It just, it also takes a little bit of practice of just learning how to go with the flow, just let the words kind of roll out. But, um, where was I even going with this? Um, <laughs> where, what was the whole point of this? Um, right okay so now i remember how it all kind of circles back i had to take a moment there to just stop and try to remember uh <laughs> you know this adhd this adhd thing is really it, it's a real killer sometimes i tell you what sometimes you just completely forget about the main topic what you're even talking about while still actively talking about the main topic that you were talking about but somehow forgetting the main points of the reason you're talking about that topic you know <laughs> it's a it really is something but the point is is the fact that I am essentially working, I mean, somewhere in around the range of like 12 hours to like 14 hours every single day of between work and making content. So, you know, I've been doing that for the better part of a year and a half. And I, I would like to say that a lot of that is primarily, it's been primarily just experimental. It's the best way I would look at it. You know, like every single time I was doing a video, I always was thinking about just a little bit of a new twist, just a little bit new way of carrying myself, just a little bit of a new something learned on how to edit maybe something just a little bit faster you know hey maybe i can cut this out maybe i can um shorten up doing this process every once in a while maybe i'll be on youtube and i'll see a random video it's just like you know hey by the way how to do this special effect in like 15 seconds I'm like oh hey i use that special effect and the next thing you know i learned something it gets a little bit better so each time i just got a little bit better with every single video I'll admittedly at Oh boy, at a very, very slow process. Uh, so that is, if you could slow down for me, please. I need to cut you in half. There we go. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back towards you. Come back, come back, come back. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, but yeah, it basically, it takes a lot of effort. So it's gotten now to the point where I think the time that I took of when I was making the music videos and making the, my first song and really experimenting a lot with everything that I'm capable of and realizing that I was posting a lot less videos and yet the views were still just about the same as though if I was posting a lot of videos, you know, not a lot seems to change. But what does seem to change is definitely the quality of the video and the hooks of the video, right? So you may have realized it more recently in, let's say, the more recent like Thronefall videos. So those of, those of you are, I know we've gotten some new subscribers on the Thronefall videos and uh, the views seem to be doing a rather a little bit decently better than the typical. The typical is right around 100 and these ones are getting around like 200 ish. So it's not doing half bad, but um, it's definitely a large difference of how I typically do my videos. So. I've been taking now the better part of like two to three days per video to make each one. So the, the intros alone, like let's say the most recent video where I did a uh, throne fall video of where we were doing just the general by himself, that intro, that 60 second intro took the better part of maybe like two hours to complete between finding the different sound effects, trying to decide on what sound effects to use. I had to write the script and I wanted, I had to do the script several times. You know, you're sitting there doing it like, like a hundred, a hundred times, seeing which one sounded the best. Ooh, we gotta blow something up. Um, <laughs> we gotta blow something up. <laughs> hey, got real quick and place that right there. 
and back up why don't we how do i change again of mode swap there we go and click beautiful just beautiful um <laughs> uh crap what was even oh yeah right so i mean th that that intro alone took like two hours so it takes a while to do this editing process a lot better but the thing is though too i want to build up by doing a consistent better editing process of putting in more effort of getting more sound effects putting in more images more cutaways more more music being used all this i want to build up that skill set of being faster with it because the more i do better editing the faster i'm gonna get with it so that two hours to do those 60 seconds is eventually going to turn into something that's going to be like you could kind of just swap together in like 20 minutes you know because arguably a lot of the intros you think that they're simple right it is it is just a couple of quick images you know and then like a quick background noise and a couple sound effects you know slap it together it seems simple in concept but most of the time really is just finding the the whoa there it goes <laughs> it's just finding what you want and then trying to get it in a format that will work for you right so that's that's the most important part so sometimes like it'll be like in a file format that you just can't access or it'll be like in a web.m or web.p format which is just a terrible format i don't know what it is it's basically an online like link format instead of it being an actual file downloader you're basically downloading downloading a like a html file which is dumb but the point is um honestly what even is the point I, honestly i've lost track already look this is going to happen a lot i think the original idea that I was all coming back to is the fact that i'm spending more time on making the videos now and by spending more time making the videos i think now the videos are only going to be coming out essentially every two to three days like i don't even want to make a schedule for myself right so i think that's an important part on my approach to youtube is the fact that i don't want you know i, I realize there are obviously lots of people who are older on youtube and but you know i'm almost 30 i'm not young anymore i'm tired a lot of times you know I, i've always been just kind of a tired person in general i never get that much sleep i just i just do not have the energy to <laughs> you know nowadays to necessarily just Oh boy, uh, to just make videos consistently 24 seven, you know, so I want to and plus obviously it has not been working is the other concept. So wait, are we still pressurized? We shouldn't be pressurized, right? Because that's that's the open wide right there. I want to assume that we're not pressurized, but the point is that I've been making now videos for about a year and a half and we're only at 10 and 10,300 subscribers. That's you know it's a modest amount i appreciate every single person who has subscribed and i i i would i i would die for each and oh god um stop 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 pull 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 oh god okay jesus christ i'm just trying to talk <laughs> see this is why i asked like the, we're pressurized right look they has an opening right there the opening is right there how is that even pressurized it's straight there whatever whatever i fine <laughs> flying off like that my god all right um <laughs> now we're definitely not pressurized i'd assume god i hope so um <laughs> Um, what was he even talking about? So yeah, we. Uh, I mean, I like the idea. Of, I mean, I've got lots of quantity now, right? Out on the on the channel, you know, a lot of the a lot of like the concept that I've been kind of going for is the fact of like, well, if I want to grow big, I want to have quantity, you know, just a large number of videos out on the platform, where maybe the algorithm will pick up like one of them and it'll start doing like really well, and then you know it just kind of like snowball from there and next thing you know like it just keeps you know bringing in more viewers type of situation which you know technically my Baldur's Gate video is a little bit like that but you know I, I've realized that it's gotten to a point where even some of my older videos do occasionally do get like you know another like 100 views or 200 views out of nowhere like it's like almost like the algorithm does like a kind of okay there's no way all of you should be pressurized anymore there is okay whatever whatever <laughs> at least you're not moving anywhere but um you know, some of my older videos are occasionally getting like, you know, 100 or next or 200 views out of nowhere. So it is kind of starting to do its rounds on some of my older content now that it's been a while, which is kind of cool to see. Uh, how? Uh, you know, God, I, I'm glad I'm out here and not in there because it just sounds like it is absolute hell. <laughs> I bet this is going to do the exact same thing. Um, good thing these are all still attached. Yeah, I need to start getting rid of these as well. That's going off again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um... <laughs> God, it's distracting me. There it goes. There it goes. Now it's free. Be free. 
There we go. Okay, but yeah, so the point is that a lot of my quantity is actually starting to basically do its job is the fact that it's been around long enough and there's enough videos of it that it can start making its round on YouTube, it seems like. So I'm not too concerned about the quantity aspect because making videos for a year and a half, I mean, I don't know what is a fast rate, what is a slow rate, but it seems like only 10,000. You know, it sounds so pretentious to say though, right? Because I, I want to make myself absolutely clear here. It just sounds, it almost sounds kind of like, you know, someone's saying like, where, where, why aren't I like, why don't more people like know me? It's like, it's it's the stupidest like kind of argument, but and then, but yeah, it is kind of like a business, right? In a way, like when you're making the videos, you are trying to see, I may as well just depressurize all this, right? You're trying to see what people want to watch. You're trying to think of the thumbnails that people would click on. You're trying to think of a title of like what people want to read. You are still in a way still selling yourself in a way, right? I mean, it's not even in a way, it's what you are. You're more or less selling yourself when it comes to making content online. And you know, as much as I, I love making content simply because I love getting my ideas out there. I love having my dumb ideas. I love having just being able to put my stupid imagination out into a video format that other people can see and honestly curse them, curse their eyeballs to the fact that they can see it. Because it is a lot of the time, some of these videos, I tell you what, I've, I, I shit post every once in a while. It is what it is. <laughs> it's, I, I find it fun. I like, I like putting stuff out there. But the point is, is that, I don't know. I, I mean, obviously I just feel like it just hasn't really kicked off the way I think it should be maybe it's just like i feel like maybe we should be at least a little bit double you know maybe it should be, should be around like twenty thousand. it's kind of i would assume at this point but so i'm going a kind of a different direction i suppose i'm trying to get at is the fact that going a different direction where i'm going to focus more on quality i'm trying to make a better a little bit more hyper edited format of the video something that's going to be a little bit more interactive something that's going to have more movement to it something you know stuff that's going to have kind of more interruptions stuff that's going to have like more inserts and all the fun stuff you know add you know word here pretty much you know add adverb add adjective um <laughs> is basically what i'm saying but oh no i'm just trying to make it better it because i mean we have lots of quantity now in equality is that what i'm going to be doing because honestly the sad thing is like a lot of my videos that have done quote unquote a little bit better on the channel are the ones that did have a little bit more you know quality to it like you know just even the Baldur's Gate video in itself although I do not like I, I don't think my Baldur's Gate video is good by any means but it did have more editing to it right it had it had a movement I was it was a talk over you know just kind of like talking over the footage you know I had constant movement of like scenery changing in the background there was different music there are different things going on the screen so it had engagement is the thing like right there's there's things for people to kind of watch and the video is short in a format so I mean, people can kind of like watch it even if they don't think it's good they can sit there and listen because it's only like i think like two minutes long three minutes long so it's very quick and easy and digestible so like i understand Ooh, there we go reach another established goal and go so i mean that one does pretty well but it's funny because that video actually messes up my research a lot so you there are research tabs on youtube where you can go ahead and see exactly what your kind of viewers where they came from like the sources like what videos like they were watching that got suggested you know your own video like where was it seen you can see all sorts of like what other search terms that they're looking for but the problem is that the Baldur's gate video because it had a little bit more interactivity like the more edits and kind of quality to it is that now because that's like my one good video all of my like searches and all of my research really is just about Baldur's Gate and I'm like damn it <laughs> because I guarantee you I'm not gonna do more Baldur's Gate content I just don't want to do it like look I I think Baldur's Gate is a good game I know I, I know I'm walking on thin ice here probably about to say something really heinous I think Baldur's Gate is a good game but in general it's just it's not good to make content for like the only version making of good content for the game really is if you're doing a tutorial or like i found this secret or look at this scene you know it doing a playthrough of it doesn't work out too well i think it maybe works out better in a streaming context definitely more especially if you're doing like a vod you know if like you're just like posting the footage of the stream then that definitely works as a series more or less where did my antenna go there it is blind is right in front of me uh, I need to move this ring over there in the processing. Please get in there. Get in there. We got four towers left. 
but it's not very good for making content so it just kind of depends on the game like Baldur's Gate it's fun but honestly I mean I did get bored of it though I never did finish the game I got all the way to Baldur's Gate I got to the city like after you know I mean spoiler alert you know turn it off if you don't want to hear anything but I got to the point like when the city's more or less being attacked I mean I guess I'll be still be vague with it when the city's being attacked and just I mean I, I don't know I just kind of fell off with it at that point I think it's just more fun to play with friends I don't really have too many people to play with you know especially if you like if you have a good like group of people to play with, with that'd be like the perfect setting for enjoying the game kind of going through the entire walkthrough there it goes there it goes beautiful this ship is gonna take quite a while um <laughs> we've already been recording for 30 minutes and we've gone over a lot of different topics already I mean I might just be a little bit dirty with the rest of this stuff I mean let's go ahead and detach some of the stuff I was gonna say I mean we could just throw these entire units straight into the furnace and call it good you know I'm so I mean I guess uh to wrap up several of the points that I've been making so far is the fact that hey I'm gonna be focused on quality now videos gonna be coming out maybe like every two to three days it's not gonna have a set schedule it is what it is um I want to do stuff that's gonna have more research more focus on building a better thumbnail I want I want to build stuff that's gonna be built better reach and focus on the intros for you know better engagement you know I want to be focusing a little bit more on my skills as an editor and bringing back my ability to kind of put some of my personality back into the video by you know God, that is just dragging that with huh um <laughs> and it broke the tethers you know bring back some of my personality that can show through the editing style by being able to inject stuff although to be to be honest i still don't really add that much i like doing like i like adding a lot of editing in the intros uh, i get some more tethers here and we should be good on fuel for a while I like adding a lot of like editing into the intros. I like making them interesting and starting off and stuff. But when I actually get in, like when we actually get into the real gameplay in itself, I typically don't want to insert or change a whole lot. I mean, I'll cut out dead air. I'll cut out like bits where it's not necessarily so contextually important just for the purpose of trying to make the video as short as possible because you want to get it. I ideally under like around the 15 minute range you know but people say like oh 20 minutes is fine for long term but really they wish it was a little bit shorter a little bit kind of you know more compact so you try to get it around the 15 minutes you know 17 minute range even better if you can get it maybe around like the 10 or 12 if it's like just gonna be a short video of the sorts but they're like a short concept so that always works out well but it just takes a lot more time trying to figure out ways to cut stuff out of it to figure out what is important what isn't important I want to build up that skill set again which honestly I think has been most of the fun with YouTube I think has also just been my ability of like learning something new right I think it just is kind of a joy of being able like looking at something like looking at a video looking at a link something I can share with people and there is something here that with my effort has been created you know th th I just like being able to be like okay and then you see like a dumb effect that people don't really appreciate you know like they're not gonna appreciate maybe like some kind of like zoom in and a like glitch RGB effect that has a wraparound and they're not gonna necessarily appreciate a type of like zoom with a special effects and then type of like gloom type of thing going on like you're sitting there you know kind of proud to your own self because like man it took me a while to figure out how to do that or you're like you know oh you know i remember like when i figured out how to do that effect and it's just something that happens for half a second you know something that someone may not even really notice in terms of like watching a video and, and like so it's just something that you can just kind of like enjoy yourself of like appreciating something that you've like created it's just i, I like having this skill set just knowing that i have these are things that i did not know how to do a year ago like my entire like probably time of making or of like knowing about YouTube I've been watching YouTube for God knows like what like I mean I've, I've basically grown up for it like growing up with it so basically like what 20 years or whatever I remember I was like originally watching anime on it like you know part like one of four for episode 24 or like type of shit <laughs> you know like and like watching the stupid AMV videos and everything it was just like a new format and, and I remember like watching all that stuff and Ooh, how do I detach any of this stuff? I think I need to like break off one of these walls, it seems. Maybe. Yeah, we'll do one of these walls. But um 
you know, and, and the entire time I've always been watching YouTube, the entire time, all the way from my childhood to through my teen years to my adulthood, all the way to, you know, in my young adulthood to my mid adulthood, all the way until, you know, I was, you know, the ripe age of like, I think I was 28 years old, the ripe age of 28 years old when I have finally essentially like it got myself a beautiful oh wow something that was still attached there oh well oh well when i've essentially been able to buy myself a nice beautiful rig something like that is effective a beautiful computer that is like actually strong you know i finally have enough money i bought myself a 2400 dollars computer it's nice and then i started making content but uh <laughs> but it's basically been my dream the entire time to i mean i don't know if i would call it my dream but definitely my entire like of like man i could totally do that and you know i i could totally like learn how to do that like I, how hard could it be and it's just funny because like when i very first started making content it was 100 percent immediately apparent that this is going to take a lot of work and i think that would probably be like some of like my best advice for people who maybe first start out making content is the fact that you are going to realize very quickly that if I mean I guess it very much so depends oh what did I just blow up a coolant tank that seems to be like a problem I we didn't need that anyway right um <laughs> uh, we have almost we have almost lost an entire um an entire reward rank there at the very top um why is this not moving what how what are you still attached to uh okay we're trying to have to figure this out somehow what are you still attached to around here how do we how do we get you moving any pieces up here no that's the power generator there's still gotta be something attached around here somewhere right no i might just have to just delete this back wall yeah i i think i'm just gonna have to delete i'm gonna delete this back wall all right Ugh. so long back wall <laughs> but yeah and so like the number one advice i would give the new youtubers is the fact that it's going to be daunting at first of learning just like okay you got to learn like okay what editing program do i got to use oh there it goes what editing program do i got to use like what where do you guys get your sound effects okay you you take your sound effects from youtube okay how do i get the how do i get the audio how do i get the video of from the youtube video you know how do i get the file format for that and all this stuff like how do i get all this how do i how do i do anything learning how to use the editing program i think that was that was also kind of probably the most daunting part is actually having to sit down and realize that no one is there to teach you this you know i mean i guess you can kind of watch some tutorials on youtube and you can kind of learn all this stuff but you know when i when i went had to sit down and learn sony vegas i basically just loaded it up looked at it loaded in my footage you know imported it and like it took me like probably like five minutes even to figure out where the button was to import and i'm like okay there it is and i imported it i just had to sit down i'm like all right well uh i guess i gotta learn this <laughs> you know and then the very first like parts of making content is like you just realize how much effort and time it takes because like when you look at some of these videos you're thinking like oh it's that, that's just a couple of quick edits that's just a couple of quick cuts like that can't be that hard and then you realize how long it actually takes to not only watch because you essentially have to watch all the footage if you have 30 minutes of footage it's probably at a minimum going to take you at least around 30 minutes to 40 minutes then to edit because you want to watch all the footage and then you want to edit around it right so it, it's depending on how long your footage is that's going to be a minimum of how long it's going to take you to even like get started on it let alone trying to find everything you know every single new sound effect god i need to move this stuff out of the way come on get get in there get in there blast you out of the way because <laughs> like you know if you ever see a stupid sound effect like uh, let's say um okay this stuff all needs to move outward right okay that's that's why it's not moving get out this way get this way yeah there you go there you go there you go get off there get off there <laughs> get off beautiful now you guys can all start going the right direction right and take this little barge or this fuel tank off there you go beautiful okay i mean that was kind of the hardest part is just having to learn all the stuff to start off with and then staying on that staying on that grind for like the first few months was probably the hardest part because it was just kind of coming to that realization like dang i really am the only one who is dictating what i post i'm the only one who's coming up with my you know own ideas i'm the only one who's 
I'm the one that's dictating my own upload schedule. You know, like, uh, honestly, like, you try to sit here and think, like, oh, if I upload less, then people are going to be mad at me. And, like, oh, I mean, I don't know. I need to upload this. But, like, why do you need to upload this schedule? Like, you, you know, I'm the one who made that schedule. Like, nobody nobody commented down below on my very first video like hey welcome to youtube this is going to be your work schedule this is the upload rate that you have to do this is exactly how you're going to do it and if you don't do it uh too bad so no like nothing like that happens it's just you set your own schedule so honestly it just trying to hold you I, I would honestly at this point i'm realizing now that i have a lot of quantity it's better to just kind of get quantity just realize what's going on that you know at the end of the day for anyone from a experience to a new content creator at the end you are your own boss so don't always take yourself so seriously i suppose is a weird way of saying of just like relax <laughs> you know breathe a little every once in a while you don't always have to missing a couple of uploads is not going to be the end of the world people are not going to completely forget about you just because there is a little bit less content to watch on a site full of other millions of other videos like it's it'll still you'll still be around you know that's why i always find it funny like when even like even the larger youtubers talk about stuff like that it'd be like you know it'd be like jack septicai talked a little bit about like oh he felt a little bit of like if he didn't post enough videos that he was going to lose subscribers and my brother like when you were having that issue you were at like two million subscribers you could probably not post for like six months and you'll lose around like a hundred thousand and still have like two million subscribers you know like <laughs> like I, I i understand the fear but also at the same time it's like dang like you don't really have that much to worry about man but you know i, I get it it's still it's still I, I understand it though but i don't know at, you know at the end you are your own boss so just try to take yourself a little bit less seriously sometimes and you know you'll realize that it's you you give you your own self you are the reason why sometimes it's you know a little bit harder to breathe you know type of situation you're, you're the reason why maybe you feel snuffed out in terms of like creativity it's because of the own the own blockages that you've set for yourself is essentially what it is which is a little bit kind of like what my first original song was like about it's just kind of like the whole idea did i get it i did yeah it could probably destroy that properly but it's better just to get in here just destroy the wall whatever makes it a little bit simpler oh boy there's a lot in here that i need to get rid of here we go yeah, I guess that, that was just a little bit also of a little bit of the point of the song too is the fact of just like no matter if you're at the top if you're at the bottom no matter the struggles you know it, it can still feel empty if you feel like you just kind of cheated yourself along the way that if you exhausted yourself along the way that you didn't even allow yourself to have fun with it anymore so what exactly is the goal right now on the channel so you kind of have an idea of like the direction where we're going right now of how I want to do more quality so what is the goal right now? What is the short-term goal of what I want to aim towards? So at this point, there is a double kind of goal along with making more quality videos, right? So I think what my current goal is the fact of, of course, we want the channel to grow in general, right? But I want to grow to a point where it can make enough to where I can hire an editor, right? I think, I think that would probably be the best, like that is probably like the main goal I would say for a lot of content creators especially like in the video format in the long in like at least in the long form format not so much like the short videos but the long form format if you can hire somebody to do the editing for you that's when you can kind of just exponentially grow from there but that's where the quality kind of comes in if i put out enough videos of quality content i want it to build up a repertoire almost a i want it to build up a almost resume of content of like okay like if you were to edit my videos what is that gonna look like the, like what kind of style like do you should you go for you know do, are you gonna know my style what is my style you know if i just do my casual like if i was doing the same style i was doing when i'm making my daily videos when i barely have any time to do any editing at all and just kind of more or less most of it was a lot of just bare bones like just kind of vanilla straight footage thrown out to the wind there you go which was, you know, this I didn't always feel so proud about making, which is the other part. Like, I have fun making it, but I didn't feel so proud about making a lot of it. And I, when I make stuff on YouTube, I want it to be stuff that I can feel proud about putting out there. It's something I don't want to be putting out garbage all the time. But, so I want to, like, 
stuff that I, I want to build up a resume of like good content, good quality content. So if somebody were to edit my videos, if somebody were to know like what is the digital day style, they can watch a lot of these quality style content, you know, even though it'll be at a less, you know, it, I know, even though I won't be releasing as much content now, it'll be a little bit better. So it's something that I can kind of research and do a little bit more of just understanding what it is, what up with my style. And honestly, I would say my style is a little bit kind of as I was mentioning earlier. I still don't typically do a whole bunch of inserts or editing. You know, I do still some cuts, but I still don't do a whole lot of changes for the main footage simply because I feel it's all very contextual. I still want people to follow along more for the gameplay at the same time it's for me because you know if, if you when you are subscribing to somebody on youtube you're kind of doing it for their personality but i also want to do it because i i want to see what it is that's being shown right you know when i subscribe to somebody not only am i doing it because they themselves may be enjoyable to watch because they portray it well or have a good voice or maybe they just have a good like cadence to their voice or anything anything the sort whatever it is but also because i want to know about the topic so, you know, if, you know, in terms of like games, a lot of the times when I watch other, you know, you know, gaming YouTubers, it's because I also want to know what the game is. Like, I can't tell you the number of times that I have started playing something because I saw it on YouTube. Because, you know, Thronefall, Thronefall is because I saw somebody playing it on YouTube. You know, um, on Cobalt Core, somebody I saw playing it on YouTube. Miasma Chronicles, one of the games that I say is probably one of my more favorites and probably be better series on the channel. I saw somebody else playing it. You know, I think that was Christopher Odd I saw playing it. You know, uh, in terms of um, Herbal Space Program, I think I found about found out about that because of watching the early days of YouTube, watching like, you know, Herbal Space Program videos uh, on here. You know, that was, it's because of YouTube. You know, a lot of the games I've ever found have probably been because of just YouTube. <laughs> you know, I mean, nowadays I still check, you know, the Steam kind of page every once in a while, see what's going on for sale. I'll still see some, kind of some cool stuff on there. But, um, but no, a lot of times, no, it is when I watch other YouTubers start playing something that's kind of popular coming out on, you know, come, that's come out on the page that we're starting to play again. Like, I know recently it's been, um, been like that, uh, warning, like content, whatever game, I, I think it's called, where you're all kind of like a little bit more cartoonish and you gotta like record yourselves and like make a video. I, I forget what it's called, but like that one's been kind of popular. I thought about playing it, like, ah, eh, you know what? I honestly don't know enough people who would buy it and play it with me <laughs> because if you're gonna be playing that, if, you got to be doing it with a group of people. You can't really do it by yourself or like one other person. Be kind of lame. You're going to have to have like a group of like three or four to make it anywhere in like near entertaining enough. Ooh, probably don't want to pull that off. Going to make everything catch on fire. Um, I need to focus more on tearing the stuff apart. Honestly, a lot of the stuff on the inside really does not matter. And I think I've given up a little bit on trying to get the final reward level for taking the stuff apart i think because i think we're just gonna kind of lose that regardless in general just kind of get rid of some of the stuff not get rid of everything a lot of these bins they're not they're not giving me a lot in terms of progress it's not important that i get them yeah that's a sliver of progress um i want to kind of just throw these whole things in the trash in the bin if i can move all this stuff out of the way yeah there we go there we go <laughs> everything's just a mess everything's a mess but yeah so that is kind of like the goal I, I want to eventually get to a point where i mean i have no idea what that would look like that'd probably be around the range of like you know probably a hundred thousand subscribers if that's probably be it if you to get to a point where you can actually hire an editor to do that for you because when you think about it like what do you what, what i mean what would you think is a fair rate to pay somebody to edit your videos when they're spending you know maybe two to three hours of their day every day to edit your videos down for you you probably got to pay them around the range of like 18 to like 20 bucks an hour right so i mean that's every day if they're if they're recording your video or you know editing your video every single day that's probably gonna be around the range of like what 20 40 60 80 bucks a day so you do that for five days a week or something like that you're gonna be spending somewhere in the range of like 400 bucks a week something like that just for an editor you know that's gonna be like that's like half my weekly paycheck, <laughs> you know, like if I have to spend like 400 bucks a week just to hire an editor, that's gonna be like half my paycheck. So at that point, you gotta be making sure that you're probably pulling in around the range of like a thousand to two thousand bucks a month um, for like ad revenue. If you want to do something along that range, then because at that point, it's going to help supplement a lot of that stuff because they pay out at the they pay out like twice a month, I think, actually, maybe once a month. I forget. 
I mean, I don't really get paid. I've only been ever been paid once. I've only ever made like we've almost hit the mark of making two hundred dollars <laughs> on the channel. You know, I don't know why a lot of people, a lot of YouTubers don't like talking about the money and like kind of aspect and like the revenue sources. I, I there is probably the thing is that uh, maybe they get to a point when they like sign enough contracts of doing like like ad deals or like you know different deals with youtube or when you get like a partner program or something with them maybe you have to sign a contract we're not allowed to talk about it but as far as i'm concerned i don't think it's against the rules to talk about it but like every single time like you ever ask a youtuber like oh how much money do you make you know like like oh how much ad revenue do you get you know they're like oh well you know haha you know i don't you know we don't really talk about that but it's like but it's like you know, I, I think it also might show that there could be impartial treatments is the thing too i think like people get different i mean i think that is it though i mean you get different rates per ad shown to people based on like how trusted your channel is i think like if you are a trusted source if you are like a kids channel something that's never like had any issues or copyright issues i think your ad value goes up more and can be treated and changed is compared to like somebody who's had like a lot of copyright strikes and stuff like that I, and so i believe like people don't like talking about it maybe at some point because if you sign something with youtube they might be like oh you can't you know talk about how much you get paid per ad watch now because it's going to show like you know you get partial treatment <laughs> you know i i'm just i'm just spitballing here i don't know if that's true at all at all i don't take my word on it but that's just me you know from my all my years of like watching of how other creators do so like large creators what they kind of talked about why they've always been so sheepish about sheepish about stuff like that i mean that's just what i'm gonna go ahead and assume ends up happening is that they ended up like doing something where they just can't talk about it anymore they end up signing something where like they're like nope nope and by the way also hey teehee uh if you say anything about this anymore you're gonna lose you know your your sweet top dollar ad revenue per like click rate <laughs> you know or you know you're not gonna get as many impressions because we all know that they definitely changed the impression rate for the more popular channels and stuff like that so they could push that a little bit more but you know it is what it is come on keep on going keep it going is that going yeah there we go now it's moving now it's moving we just needed to cut it in two pieces um not really anything else i can take out of these and there are like there are computers and stuff like that but like i said i kind of gave up on the fact of getting the top rate so i think losing some of that small stuff is not gonna be a big concern to me Get that shot in the processor though there we go beautiful oh but i tell you what you know it's still been fun making content you know it's still kind of giving you guys a it's still fun giving you guys a good update video every once in a while even if i you know can't talk about things the entire hour or two hours or whatever the heck long it takes we've been going for 53 minutes although i will cut some of this out there were a couple of pauses um but you know it's good to just talk to you guys as a creator because it's not always now I, I don't really put on so much of a facade when i do my regular videos but i do definitely you know of course amp it up a little bit you know i, I you know if i if i was doing a regular video right now i could probably be like all right we're gonna go ahead and pull off this power junction box oh we got a lot of lightning going on here oh god that's a lot <laughs> you know and remind me to go ahead and try to upgrade our suit later because we need some of that lightning protection wow that is, that looks like it could have been dangerous go ahead and pull off some of these computer terminals yeah get on going on down there so i mean you know hey <laughs> so that is that it's still definitely that is still definitely me but you know but that's just not i'm not gonna say a force me it's just it's just a different me you know everyone's got a little bit of a different you inside you know it, it's just you kind of play it up a little bit but it's still me i don't feel like i'm pulling a character or anything of the sort it's just just a little bit more of a unfiltered version of me because it's funny if you were to see me in person i'm a lot more sheepish i suppose not really i'm not gonna say sheepish i mean i i just don't talk a lot like in in real life i just i typically try to avoid conversation like I, I i'm the kind of the sort where i like to put my head down and just do my work you know while i'm sitting there at my station while i'm kind of packing things while i'm fixing things or inspecting anything i i just don't really want anybody like just come over and just mindlessly hit converse with me i want to just you know keep my head down just do what i gotta do and just and then go home and then do what i gotta do you know i don't know why you're talking to me about the weather or what your kids are doing i'm martha i do not care nobody cares please stop talking to me so <laughs> it's uh i just you know i just don't really particularly care for it but so then it's funny because like then you uh because I, I told a few people there i i really don't like i don't really like advertising fully about that me that i do a youtube channel because i am kind of faceless but it kind of defeats the purpose if i tell a lot of people who i am who already know my face so that just 
guaranteed at some point that my that it's gonna leak out like who I am if I were to ever be like I don't know oh god Ooh. <laughs> um do those, oh that's right those go in the processor they don't go in the barge dang it come on up come on up oh can I not get you out anymore oh no you can't get them out anymore well was not aware that was a thing big sad um so honestly at, at this point it's probably eventually gonna be like a leak I mean who, who, I mean who, who who knows I mean I don't really care but <laughs> but it, it's still uh, the whole point is I don't really want to tell too many people in real life but the point is I was trying to make it I think it's just funny because you know in real life I don't really talk a whole lot and they you know they know that I don't really talk a lot it's just kind of yeah I just try to do you know keep my head down just do my work and then you know, I'm gonna be like oh hey I make YouTube videos and they're gonna look at my content and then like look at me constantly talking you know at like a mile like a million miles per hour and they're gonna look at me I'm like this is you I'm like yep like what were you you're this is you in the content I'll be like, uh -huh. <laughs> you know like <laughs> and then and then you know in the video I'm like what's, what's going on guys you know welcome back to another beautiful video of playing more throne fallen <laughs> he's just like yep you know everybody's got everybody's got was it like two or three faces you've got the face that you show your friends you've got the face that you show the people at work and then you've got your face that I don't know that you you show yourself <laughs> something along the lines of like an old like Japanese proverb of the sort need to get this fuse just right Beautiful and it gets faster with each one. Hang on a second. There we go. Beautiful. Should only be those three because now I can pull off the. Where are you? Wait, geez. Oh, come on. You only got four sides. There you are. I can pull off the power generator. Now that's that's going to be a good one. That's a big chunk of. It's a good chunk going on the barge. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just cut this in half, I think. Now that's a lot of damage <laughs> and we are still only like halfway done with this ship as well but I think this other half is not gonna take that long I feel like it's just kind of going through this central part that's taking a little while because it had a lot of different stuff attached to it I think that's are you separated no I oh, there you are you still connected right no you're not connected er there you are now that's where you're still connected right there now will you move no i'm missing something here i'm gonna try pulling it with these tethers oh that piece never went in get in there oh i never got the radiation <laughs> i never got the radiation thing out of this one the other i need to pull that out real quick come on Get out of there. Get out of there. Nice. Get in there, please. Beautiful. And there we go. Yeah, no, but uh, the content has been doing well on the channel in general. Uh, the couple of videos that I've been doing quality on have been performing decently well compared to like the ones that I kind of mass produced out, you know, and so that's kind of good to see. I need to flush this stuff out somehow. Uh, I think here the levers are. That's kind of good to see in general and honestly i've been i've been having a lot more fun with it i've been a lot more relaxed in general trying to also spend less time on the editing because i want to spend more time on quality because basically now every day that i can come home i can only spend i'll spend like two or three hours maybe only two hours doing the editing you know something of the sort and like or one night i'll do the intro there we go one night i'll do the intro and you know because the intro takes a lot of time i want to put a lot of effort into the intro to make sure that it's interesting enough for people to stay clicked on so one night i'll do the intro and like go do all that editing and the next night i'll actually record the actual gameplay that i'm going for <clears throat> I'll, I'll record the gameplay that i'm going for come on there we go and then like on the third day I'll, I'll like finish i'll finish editing in it like so it's like second day i'll do the gameplay and edit a little bit and on the third day i'll finish editing and then try to do you know the thumbnail and all that fun stuff and figure out the the, the titling and all that because honestly that takes a lot more than you would think i'm trying to i'm trying to figure out what is a good thumbnail like it takes a while to sit there and think like what is it like people oh yeah there goes the, there goes the salvage goal like what is it like people want to see like what's going to be attractive enough for people to click on you know what because when you are putting stuff out there they have to realize that you are in competition with every other creator out there 
every other person who has made a throne fall video who's made a kill space broken video who's made a Baldur's Gate video every other creator who's made something like that their content is also out there in that same category so what is it that is going to make them click on yours compared to anything else or when you look at the suggested videos on the side you might like sports you might like beauty stuff and you might also like gaming so you're going to see a sports video you're going to see you're going to see a beauty thing of like how to do your nails you're going to see a sports one of like top 10 nfl like touchdowns and then you're going to see like a gaming video and it might be like my thumbnail of like of like one man army or like did all alone or like huge attack you know it's a thumbnail like what is it that's going to not only win over other thumbnails in the gaming category what is also going to win over the other categories that you might be watching so you're also in competition not of just of saying your category but other categories as well so you kind of just have to what, what's gonna be the most eye popping what is it what's gonna be the most eye catching what is it that is gonna make it be like oh what what draws their eyes to that one instead of the other ones they're really gonna have to put a little bit a little bit of effort into that the funny thing is like every single time i see <laughs> every single time i see a uh a, a tutorial on anything to do with like editing or like you know trying to like make a good like just edit a photo and like minute edits a thumbnail edits anything it, they always talk about using photoshop and here i am over here just like man all of my like editing capabilities has gone straight into please don't blow up has gone straight into just using an online program called pixlr like <laughs> i just I, I just all of my thumbnails are just layers that's all it is like all my all my thumbnails please don't blow up Ooh, okay that is getting close um yeah, like i said all of my thumbnails are just layers you know i mean i there is like, there are some editing tools in there to like blur stuff and like the use dispersion and adding like some uh, some lights and different effects and going and stuff like that so i mean i i really like the program that i use you know the pixlr has been a great online editing tool for stuff like that but it's definitely no photoshop that's for certain i mean there is a premium version that i thought about paying for maybe i, I might invest into but uh you know what uh, it's uh, you know whatever it's, if i can keep on doing things on the freeway then why not <laughs> why not you know and speaking of it i don't know why you know hang on how, where how where what am i doing here how am i how these things i'm gonna disconnect you I don't want you here anymore. You're not welcome in this family anymore. Get out of here. I, I don't know why it kind of came to my mind of like talking about like, you know, not wanting to buy things of like not wanting to purchase. Why pay for something if I can do it for free? The idea of rocket money came to mind. So I've been seeing lots of ads about rocket money, right? It can automatically detect like things. This is not a paid advertisement and I'm not going to be advertising. If anything, actually, I'm going to be giving it flack a little bit. So. I, I I tried out Rocket Money, so they okay, it can detect things that you have subscriptions for and things that you can save money on, and like what, what's all your reoccurring purchases. So I took I took a look at it. What's the the UI is nice, and it did tell me about reoccurring purchases, and it let me know about that I was still paying for uh, Dropout TV, which I did not know. College Humor's Dropout TV, but what's annoying is the fact that it also has the capability to it also has the capability to like cancel things for you, but it won't work canceling out college humor TV and it wouldn't work canceling out Amazon Prime for me. And I feel like Amazon Prime is kind of like a central one that they would have like been able to figure out of like getting it work. Can I not get this out? Please get this out. Please pull it out. Pull it out. Come on. Get it. Get it. Get it out. Get it out. Oh God, this is this is not going well. This is <laughs> this is dragging the whole thing with me. Um right what do i want to do about this huh you know what you know what screw it oh there is there is definitely more here for the processor than there is for the furnace so with that being said i'm gonna put the whole thing in the processor we might lose out on another progress level doing this not gonna lie I want to see what happens though because this it's just gonna be simpler just to throw the whole damn thing in there and just in one big piece <laughs> just let it go let it go let it go oh this piece is heavy there it goes nice okay what were we even talking about i don't even know but there it goes i, I need to get these pieces in there too don't even remember what i was talking about before <laughs> i've completely lost track of it 
I got distracted by the fact they're trying to get this damn thing in there. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, no, I don't know. I guess expect changes on the channel. I hope you guys are going to stick along with me. You know, I hope you guys like these kind of more update, you know, these more personal videos. You can kind of get to me know a little bit more as a person, even if it does kind of ramble off here in the very end. How much am I going to lose? Ooh, I'm not really losing a lot. No, that's some good progress. So I don't feel too bad about that anymore. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just destroy this wall. Destroy all the walls. You know, I think I, I think it's been a while too. Like I, I didn't realize how I, I kind of do a lot of update videos, not going to lie. <laughs> like usually like when you look at uh, like other YouTubers, you realize that they only do like an update video maybe like once or twice a year. And I probably I probably do let me like like six. I like do one maybe every like two to like three months. But I guess because I just experiment a lot on the channel, I have been experimenting a lot with the channel, like the entire time I've been making content. You know, I've, you know, I started out making some movies, like some of my very first, like very first videos. One was like doing an elite dangerous, like gas, like giants, like crash into each other. But that was unrelated to before I started making content. But like some of my first content was making it a little bit of an elite dangerous movie, you know, and I, I was experimenting along with that a little bit, you know. I experimented a lot with with doing the hyper edits with my polybridge uh, series because I was kind of battling on with aliens rock and real civil engineer which I they did comment on my videos which is pretty cool they did recognize I existed at some point didn't really give me a shout out or anything but I saw they did comment on my videos they each they each commented on a separate video so that's really cool that's awesome oh god oh Jesus Christ oh 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 well the whole thing is now going into the furnace that's actually kind of bad like the whole thing probably needs to go into the processor but it just threw this entire thing including the reactor huh that's not good that's gonna be a lot of progress loss that's we're probably gonna lose like like probably like two extra bars of progress right here oh Ooh, that sucks. Um, <laughs> that, um, that sucks. Uh, right. So if I can maybe get the reactor out in time, can I pull this thing away? Can, can you, can you please come back the other direction? Please come back. Baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. I mean, you basically can. It is my fault somehow. Like, I guess the whole like door depressurized and just pulled you away and flew you across the cosmos. Please come back to the other side. Just come on, use all of my tethers right here. Use all of my tethers that I have left. Just yeah, I know I'm out of tethers. Oh boy. Okay. Well, this does not seem to be working. I think I this thing is actually ready to go into the furnace. It's just jammed up right now. I need to take this reactor out. Um, just like this it is, I, I don't know. This isn't going to fit. Is it? Are you going to fit? It's not fitting. It's not fitting. Come on. Come out. Come out. Come out. Reactor. Come out. Reactor. Come out. Reactor. Come out. No. <laughs> Reactor. Come out. Oh, God. Oh, geez. Oh, 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 boy. Oh, boy, Rick. Um, <laughs> okay. There we go. Get that piece out. It's, it's now free. It's now free. And get down, get down, get down. Oh, that was close. That was really close. And I have actually managed to save a lot of this. Wow. Um, well, you can just go straight into the furnace then. You can come on up. I can actually manipulate you a little bit. What? Get in there. That was a close. I'm actually surprised that I managed to save any of that at all. Well, wow, okay. I realized I still have a lot of these parts sitting around as well. Um, <laughs> I thought I got rid of a lot of you guys. No, they're still, they're still floating around back here on this backside. Okay. So we might be able to make some good progress here. Let's go ahead and get the tethers. Um, oh boy. Okay. So processor, I suppose for you, my man, you just need to go straight to the processor. I've got 50 tethers now. You're going to get like 10 of them. Get in there. Get in there. Gonna pull you on multiple fronts. Get you multiple angles of just getting that momentum going. Get you in there. Beautiful. You gotta go into the furnace. You're gonna get a couple of tethers. Yeah, that, that'll pull in beautifully. You are gonna go into the furnace. You get a whole bunch of tethers. Because I know that you're also, like, super heavy. Yeah, there you go. That piece is going for us. Now, a lot of this can probably still go into the processor. There is 
there is still the engine left i can pull off right where are you can i eject you no it's not gonna work not gonna work i can detach you no i can do this oh god <laughs> I can do this. Proceeds to immediately blow up and die. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know what? That 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 holds par for I think most of our videos. I I have probably blown up on almost every single video that we've done here, except maybe like one. I have blown up a lot on these. Oh uh, yeah, we lost another bar of progress. Son of it. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? What's what's even the point anymore? <laughs> what's even the point? We got one big chunk left here. Yeah, yeah, we lost that salvage eight goal. Whatever. There is. Let's just blast everything into the processor. Everything just go. You're all in different pieces now. Whatever pieces I can get in there. Why don't you? Yeah, get in there. <laughs> we were doing so well too. We were almost done. We were almost done here. And I still managed to blow myself up. You know, that is that is just a curse. That is a real curse. I tell you what. Peace, just get in there. Get in there. I'm gonna use all of my tethers. I'm just gonna buy more here at the end. Use all of them. Just attach them. Go. 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 Oops, accidentally, accidentally attach that one to the side. It's got momentum. Now cancel them all off. And the furnace should start to pull it in. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yeah, there it goes. There it goes. You know that. Okay, you know, good enough. Good enough. I think our job here is done. We uh, we have reached enough of the different goals. There's not a whole lot left here. There's just a little bit in terms of, like value. There, there's no real point. Let's just go ahead and just. <laughs> man, we were doing so well too. Let's go ahead and get some tethers. Let's get some thruster fuel for next time. Get ourselves back in the fab. Get ourselves back in the, the habitation end our shift yes we will end our shift i don't i don't even care anymore we did make a profit though of 31 million so that's not too bad and honestly we've been making some good money. we have 800 links tokens and a new rank 21. Ooh, nice and usually the usually the story continues a little bit too each time you upgrade so we could be expecting a little bit more dialogue next time that we play so keep an eye out for that but of course we only really play this game whenever i do update videos in general but if you guys would maybe like to see like a live stream on it feel free to comment down below if you'd like to see a live stream of this game maybe a little bit you know kind of pro progress it is it i'm i'm 9346-52 inspirational message yeah yeah i mean i uh, yeah we get up every morning and we 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 get that grind we we get that bread gamers um <laughs> 31 million fees total 473 thousand. so that's not too bad we still made a good amount of money we have a lot of tokens left over too so we can probably get some good upgrades in terms of like owning our equipment as well so like if we take a look at our upgrade list take a look at the workstation equipment so we have what yeah still 800 that is a lot that is a lot i guess we haven't really used them in a while let me go ahead and repair everything that you have here a bunch of repair kits down below take a look at this we have a whole bunch of points yeah i mean honestly if i were to upgrade well our <laughs> i didn't realize our grapple is 100 percent upgraded our thrusters are 100 percent upgraded the, the the scanner i never use the helmet honestly i probably could use a little bit in terms of like protection but um we can go ahead and purchase our helmet here so we don't have to rent it out anymore so it doesn't uh doesn't get rid of like we don't have to like pay that in terms of rental fees we can go ahead and we already own the suits the suit we can go ahead and get upgrades for the demo charges we can get for like more quality more explosion size to keep a little bit more like controlled just go ahead and upgrade everything at this point Ooh, we, yeah i can purchase the demo charges as well so we don't have to do the rental fees for this either Honestly, yeah, throwing charges attached on impact. Demo charges can be disarmed. I would like to disarm them, please. <laughs> Just go ahead and upgrade everything that we have here. Save ourselves money, too. Because the more that we have, the less we got to pay for essentially having to, like, when we have to, like, restock them. Instead of having to restock them several times, we only have to restock them once. So there we go. Perfect. We went through a lot of our kind of tokens there. But, you know, that is kind of besides the point. We are done for the day. We are done taking a look at everything. So, yeah. 
Honestly, uh, you know, thank you for taking a look at the update video. We've been going on for a better part of an hour now. I know these things are always just kind of me rambling on, talking kind of gibberish. There are some points that are probably less interesting. Some points that are a little bit more on point as I kind of ran out of things to talk about. You know, I, some of these ships take a while. <laughs> and I, I don't really like to edit these videos either. I like to keep it a little bit more just kind of, you know, raw and vanilla so that people can just kind of see what goes on, especially as I start to realize and drift into madness and realize that, oh no, I'm out of topics. Uh, um, so the ship and maybe reiterate a point again, um, <laughs> you know, it is what it is, but you know, I have fun playing it. I still have fun making content on YouTube. Basically the, the whole moral of the story is, um, I'm tired. I'm going to be putting more effort into making quality content. So it's going to be coming out every two to three days. Um, whenever the video is done, pretty much, I want to put more effort into making them better. So that way I can build up a repertoire of just, you know, better stuff for people to watch and be more interested in, which is probably better for the channel overall. Um, and the short term goal is the fact I want to get to a point when I can reasonably afford to hire an editor for me to do some of these videos, or at the very least, um, if anybody out there is actually watching at this point, I may be still looking for an editor to um, make shorts for me. I think it'd be really, really helpful if I could hire somebody to just make shorts for me. They could like, I'd be like, look, just give me one short every single day. Just download all of my videos. <laughs> just download all my videos. Just go through them. Find any 60 seconds that might be nice. See anything that you can kind of stitch together to bring into a nice 60 second like format and zoom in and whatever you got to do and just make shorts for me. Like one short a day would be super helpful. Um, I might be kind of looking into that. So anyone who might be still listening at this point, if you know anybody, um, feel free to try to contact me at my uh, at my business email, which I believe is just is digital Dave YouTube, except that YouTube is spelled Y U. So it's digital Dave, like my channel name, and it's Y U T U B E at gmail.com. Um, you can also find it on the channel. You can actually find all the contact information for most channels just by going to their about section and stuff like that. So yeah, feel free to contact me at my uh, business email or maybe even comment down below that you might know somebody, all that fun stuff. And we can try to get in contact. So yeah, uh, let me know and we can talk about rates and all that fun stuff. You know, just kind of throwing the idea out there. I'm still a small channel. Not a lot of people watch these update videos. So I doubt, you know, anyone's actually going to be. But hey, maybe it might be kind of interesting for anyone who is still kind of listening. Just like, hey, by the way, um, <laughs> I'm looking around. So uh yeah thank you for watching the video look i still don't really know how to do any of these outros because god knows i was ramble on for way too long which is very apparent but if there's one thing i can always guarantee you that'll be to see you guys in the next video thank you and bye bye